What's up everybody, it's your boy Jerome here, One Half of One Life Productions and the one man behind Soul Tap Music. Just want to bring you guys a quick tutorial today on uh, Propeller Heads Recycle, um, how to chop in there uh, in an easy form. Um, the easiest way that I've found to chop inside of Recycle is many ways to do it. Um, shout out to Neft the Damager here on YouTube, um, Nefarious, um, you get a chance check his page out. He did a tutorial a while back on the same thing. I just thought I would go ahead and share in case you guys just never caught that tutorial or know how to do this. But um, what you want to do is go up top, select your pencil. Um, and each one of these lines counts as a pad on your MPD or on your MPC or whatever you're using. I'm just going to go ahead and make four slices for the first four pads. So I'm going to click one, two, three, four. Just put my four lines in just to start out. Um, haven't put them in place yet. I just have them you know on the uh, wave file then you want to go back up and uh, click the arrow that's just what I do just to go ahead and maneuver and I can hear my my sample as I go along um, so what you do is I slice on the kick and on the snare I mean you can slice kick hi-hat snare if you want but I always do the kick and the snare depending on the sample um, I'm just going to get into the tutorial but there's plenty of ways you can get into this and uh, slice on the horns or keys and things like that but this is a simpler way to start out um, here's some of the sample here. So I'm gonna just take that beginning part there. So all I do is slide this first line up to the kick. Make sure I got it. Alright. That's my kick. That's my first pad. Get this other, bring my other line down. Find my snare. It's like a snare mixed with a hi hat too. I can hear that so. Alright, so I'm clear on my first kick and snare. I gotta find my other kick now for my third pad. Alright. Alright, so I got my other kick. Now the last part I need is just my, my snare. Alright, so I got my four pads. I got my kick, snare, kick, snare. Um, in this process, you want to, you got your four pads there, but you want to go back up to your pencil and you want to highlight either further down or to your next, uh, your next sound, if it's a kick, a snare, whatever it is, because that last slice um, to your far right, um, you need to go ahead and close that in and make it a full uh, slice. If you don't, you won't have that slice once you get to the crop process, which I'll show you. Um, so I'm going to just add one more line in there. Uh, so I got my kick. That's my snare. So I'm just going to bring it up to the next kick. Okay. Um, now after this process, you have I'm going to go ahead and make this wave a little smaller now. You don't have to. I just am. It's a cursor to the far left. It's a left cursor right here at the bottom left. You want to click, hold that, bring that all the way into your first slice and release it. You want to go over here, find your right cursor. Do the same thing. Bring that all the way in. And bring that to your last slice that you chopped. Put that on your last slice. And you have to do this because if you don't, then it'll give you the whole wave file once you get to this next step. Um, so you can go up to process. There's a lot of things you can do right here in the process. You can normalize the track. Um, you convert to mono. A couple of things. But the main thing you want to do in this process is crop your loop. So I'm going to crop my loop. And what it's going to do is take away everything I did not use. It's just going to give me just all the pieces that I slice. All right. And then, as you can see in the wave file, I didn't catch them all the way on the kick and on the snare. But in this process, you can just slide these up right on point. And you can do this back in the other process also. You just make your wave file larger. I was just doing this so I can kind of show you guys a little quicker. So. So there are all four of my slices. So now I go up, file, save. Um, it says loop length um, cannot be uh, set to zero bars. So I go ahead and I just put two bars. It's not going to really matter. Two to four. I, I've noticed that it doesn't really make a big difference. But I always use two bars. And then make sure at the bottom here 
it says uh, file name go ahead and name your file and the save as type it has to be a rex file to go into use with reasons uh, the read drum I'm sorry not the read drum the um, um, reasons uh, rex player it has to be a rex file to go in there now if you want to use it in other programs you have to go down and and find audio files or however you want to do it but this is more so uh, for reasons users that I'm trying to use uh, uh, recycle with with um with the uh, Rex player all right so make sure it's on Rex file name your file um, wherever you want to send it I'm just going to send this to the desktop press save and it saves pretty quick so you're not even going to see a process most of the time so it just saved to the desktop I will X out of here here it is on my desktop that file I'm gonna go ahead and open my reasons Okay, I'm telling you my default song is missing. That's cool though. Alright, so what you want to do? You want to go into reasons, go to um, no, go to create, find your Dr. Rex loop player, open that up. Make sure your Dr. Rex, your release is uh make sure it's all the way up. Over here to your polyphony, right here. Make sure this is all the way down to the number one. Go to your folder on your Dr. Rex. Find wherever you saved your Rex file, which is mine is on the desktop, the one we just did. So there it is. I click on it. All right. Sometimes it plays, sometimes it doesn't, depending on how long the file is. So you click on a uh, click on the file, click OK. As you can see, it's right here in the Dr. Rex player. Now, if I go over to my MPD. So I'm move the camera here for a second. Bring this down so y'all can see. My MPD here. Now on these first four pads, it should play give me my my kick. I'm sorry, not my kick. Uh not the Rex. Let me make sure I got it, got it highlighted on here real quick. Okay. Let me change the setting on my MPD real quick so you guys can see. As you can see, my first pad, I have it set um, to something different right now. I was working on something. But um, as you can see, my pad 2 is, um, is my first slice. So it's real simple, uh, guys. It's just, just that simple. And um, you just slice on those kicks and the snares and um, get it going like that. Um, I'm going to see what's going on with my first pad. I'm not sure exactly what happened with that. Um, but I get that back on point. But it's just it's just that simple, y'all. I mean, so I hope, hope this tutorial helps somebody. Helps one of you guys or one of you girls, um, young or old. Any questions, uh, just go ahead and hit me up. Send a comment, send a message. Um, subscribe to the page. Um, become a friend, tell a friend. And uh, make good music. All right? I pray you guys are blessed. Grace and peace.